Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe anytime during this video. And talking about gentle skincare, you know, I have to say that CeraVe is probably my go-to drugstore brand when it comes to sensitive skin. Their products are reliably fragrance-free and gentle and often focused on ceramides for barrier support, which is something, you know, I love. So I figured it was time for me to round up my top five favorite CeraVe products. If you're so ready to find out what they are, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So my number five pick is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. So this does exactly what the name claims. It is a milk moisturizing cream cleanser that will turn into a foaming cleanser once it reacts with water to effectively clean your face. I mean, it almost sounds too good to be true because, you know, my sensitive skin can lean on the dry side. And so I definitely love a very gentle moisturizing cleanser to kick things off in my skincare routine. But honestly, like milk and cream cleansers can sometimes be overwhelming to my skin like they moisturize it but it's almost like they don't clean it effectively or they leave this like filminess on my skin like they have a time and place in my routine but sometimes I just don't feel clean when I use them do you know what I mean so I love this idea of a hybrid cream and foam cleanser and there's a few other ones that I've come across that do it really well but like CeraVe really nailed it with this one I love the balance of this cleanser as soon as I get it onto my face I can feel that it's gentle that it's moisturizing that it's barrier supportive but it does have that little mild foaming action to it that really helps to break down any greasiness that I might have in my oily t-zone but it's still you know soft and gentle and creamy me for my dry U zone. If I have any little remnants of makeup on my face from my first cleanser, this breaks it down effectively. It rinses away cleanly. It doesn't leave a film on my skin. Like it really is so balanced, so well done. It is a great drugstore find. And I mean, the ingredients are great. They're so barrier supportive. We've got ceramides, we've got phytosphingosine, which is a great barrier supportive ingredient, hyaluronic acid and glycerin in here, and tons and tons of amino acids to keep your skin hydrated and comfy and not stripped of moisture. This is an awesome pick. My number four pick is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Eye Cream. Now I can be kind of picky when it comes to eye creams there's certain ingredients I really like to see and I feel like this eye cream really has it all we've got niacinamide and caffeine and these are great eye cream ingredients niacinamide helps to brighten the under eye area and caffeine can really help if you get puffiness because it's great for depuffing the skin it's also a fantastic antioxidant I also like to see some barrier supportive ingredients like in all my skincare but even in an eye cream it's great especially if you do suffer with some dryness or dehydration in your under eye area, it's great to have barrier supportive ingredients because oftentimes that dryness or that weak moisture barrier can contribute to the fine lines and the wrinkles and maybe even if it seems like your skin's not that firm, it can actually contribute to making those things appear worse if your skin isn't retaining the hydration and the moisture like it needs to. So we've got ceramides in here, we've got cholesterol to really help strengthen up that barrier. But one of the things I always like to see in my eye creams is peptides and we've got a great peptide duo in here matrixyl 3000 now this peptide duo really helps to work on wrinkles on fine lines to stimulate collagen and that's what I like to see in eye cream so the texture of this eye cream surprised me because you know it does not have a similar texture to other eye creams with the barrier supportive ingredients in it and the peptides like it's very different it's not a cream at all it's actually more of like a ointment type of texture Sure. We do have some occlusive ingredients in here like petrolatum and dimethicone and that's definitely contributing to how this texture feels and performs on the skin. So it's a little bit more, yeah, like a thick jelly gel type of texture. It just kind of like melts under the heat of your skin, which is a really nice sensation. It just kind of like glides in your under eye area and then just absorbs in with very minimal, like, you know, needing to work it into your skin. It's just this really great absorbency. But because
because we've got those inclusive, occlusive ingredients in there and it's not overwhelmed by a lot of emolliency, like really rich, like oils or anything, it actually has this moisturization factor that is light. It moisturizes, but it doesn't make the top of your skin like greasy or filmy. My number three pick is the CeraVe Healing Ointment. Of course it is. You know, I've been kind of obsessed with this recently. And especially if you're on that slugging journey, you need to know about this product because I personally find the texture of this to be a little bit easier to use, maybe even a little bit more elegant to slather all over your face than Vaseline or even one of my old favorites, Aquaphor. So the star ingredient here, 46.5% of petrolatum. Now you've heard me say this before, this is really the ultimate occlusive ingredient. And occlusives are those types of ingredients that really help seal everything in. They create a temporary barrier on your skin to hold in all the hydration and all the moisture. And when you use this as like your final step in your skincare routine, either replacing your moisturizer with it or putting it on top, it really gives your skin such a beautiful glow because you're not experiencing that transepidermal water loss as you sleep because that temporary barrier is in place with petrolatum and so all your skincare gets hugged deeply into your skin it works better for you you have like really soft glowing hydrated plump skin Ugh, I am like addicted to those results and I think it just comes down to CeraVe's like classic mix right of like glycerin ceramides cholesterol phytosphingosine right they really do think about the the barrier they really do think about those great natural moisturizing factors and those hydrating ingredients and they're able to balance that in like really good textures that seem to work for a variety of skin types and so that's how I feel about this healing ointment yes it's very similar to other products on the market but there's something just a little bit different that really makes this work for my skin so well and the texture is so so good it's like melty it's not that old thick like Vaseline type of feel. It's not that thick. It has almost a melty quality to it. And I know I've described it before in the past as like it 50% like absorbs into my skin with all those good barrier supportive ingredients. And then the remaining half, that other 50% sits on top creating that occlusive barrier. And it's just the best of both worlds. Like I said, for my skin where I can sometimes feel a little bit suffocated, this is just that perfect balance. That's my favorite way to use this product, but it's actually multi-purpose. So it can work if your lips are dry or cracked or irritated. Again, that like kind of absorbing in and supporting the barrier element is really helpful for chapter irritated skin anywhere on the body. I always use the remaining amount after I put it on my face. I always rub it into my hands. I have very dry skin, especially around my nail bed. My cuticles can get um, like just look really bad. <laughs> they can even get kind of achy if the skin gets raw and stuff. So I always like to do a little bit on my hands before I go to bed to kind of help seal in the moisture and help soften them and keep them in good condition. It can even work on eczema patches because petrolatum does um, create that temporary barrier. It actually can promote healing on like raw skin or eczema patches. So it's a great way to kind of seal that off, especially if it's like oozing and weeping. And it can also help to soften the skin and, and promote that healing. Healing. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use it. It is multi-purpose. Experiment with it. It's a very affordable. This quantity will last you forever. But yeah, they really nailed the ingredients here. They nailed the texture. And I think that's why it's just like a really elegant slugging product. My number two pick is the CeraVe Hydrating Toner. Now, I think I can safely call myself the queen of toners. <laughs> you know, it's my favorite skincare product. I would choose toner over serum any day. Like if we had to do that type of like decision making, I would always go with a hydrating toner because it's the skincare product that has served my skin so well. As I mentioned, I'm combination, but I definitely do suffer with dehydration and a hydrating toner, the right one, can really help rebalance my skin without adding a lot of weight to it. And it's just worked wonders for me, right? I, I rave about them all the time. And you know, I have very high standards for what I personally like in a hydrating toner. And I've never never really found like an excellent hydrating toner outside of K-Beauty. I have always felt that Korean skincare has really innovated in the area of a hydrating toner and like everybody else is just scrambling to catch up and I feel like they haven't really done it yet. So when I saw this product earlier this spring, I think it was a new release this year, I saw this at Ulta and I was like, hmm, I love CeraVe. 
I love toners, but I don't know that these two things go together. <laughs> and I bought it because I was like, I really want to test this out and see what it's like, but I don't have like a high expectation for this product. Well, boy, was I blown away. I was totally wrong about this. This is so good. The first time I put it on my skin, I was like, oh, Mmm, this feels really good and hydrating. It is a watery texture. So there's not like a body to it. There's not like a gel slipperiness to this. There's not like a moisture element. It is purely a watery toner. It absorbs really quickly into the skin and it has a really nice hydration factor to it. Um, it it's not the kind of really thin toner that just like sits on top and kind of feels like water. This dives in deeper and really kind of gets to the source of dehydrated skin, which feels amazing. And because it's that lighter texture if you want to do a couple of layers of this you absolutely can and that's actually a great way to achieve a lot of hydration on your skin without a lot of extra skincare products just put on a couple layers of toner you will be amazed at the results that you can get and it doesn't get sticky uh, with this product it doesn't get sticky or thick on your skin so love the texture love the ingredients you know we've got ceramide of course we've got ceramides in here it's cerave right we've got ceramides in here we've got glycerin which is just like the og skin hydrator we've got phytosphingosine in here lots of different ingredients that are all about hydrating your skin and strengthening your moisture barrier and I always say this, but by the way, in case you didn't know, if you do have very dehydrated skin, it's because your moisture barrier is not functioning properly. Maybe it's a little bit weak. It might even be damaged. So it's great to look for barrier supportive ingredients alongside of those deep hydrators to help solve that dehydration symptom. So that's how I really like to use this product. You know, just layer up lots of hydration onto my skin. I use my hands. I never use a cotton pad. I don't think that that's necessary, but I know that in the West, we're still kind of like, like we're still kind of learning what a hydrating toner can be because in the past in Western skincare, drugstore skincare, a toner has been an astringent product that cleanses your skin of excessive oil and maybe dirt and makeup, right? You know, you use a cotton pad and you swipe all that dirt away from your skin, the dirt, <laughs> right? And a hydrating toner is more about like replenishing your skin. So I have seen like that this is recommended that you can use this after cleansing with a cotton pad to maybe just do an extra like, like uh, check if your skin is clean but it is going to be a hydrating product that you can leave onto your skin I have seen it recommended that way you don't have to use it that way uh, and in fact I actually think it functions I personally think it functions better the way I told you to use it which is to layer it up with lots of hydration so don't think about this as like a makeup removing product necessarily or skin cleansing product this is almost like a complement to your serums to really layer up hydration and drum roll my number one pick is can you guess it I'm sure you already did my number one CeraVe pick is the moisturizing cream Duh, of course. Many of you who know me before you've been clicked on this video, you knew what the number one product was gonna be, right? It is the moisturizing cream. And I really do think that there's like a couple of reasons here for that. I mean, number one, it's like the very first CeraVe product I tried many years ago. And that's what really made me fall in love with the brand and really fall in love with this product. So I think it's just like our history is so deep that like, of course, it's gonna be at least in one of the top spots, if not the very top spot. But I think really it comes down to the fact that I have a little bit more of a deeper emotional attachment to this particular product because it was one of the kind of key core products that helped me to heal my damaged moisture barrier many years ago. And that's really where, you know, I've been in love with skincare for years before that, but that's really where my YouTube journey started. That's really where like my deeper skincare journey really started is when I damaged my moisture barrier. And like, this is not a fun thing to go through. If you've ever been through it, you know that it is, it is mentally draining. It is emotionally draining. It's an incredibly frustrating situation when your skin, you can't heal it when it is so irritated, when it is so dehydrated, when it is so itchy, when it is so red, when it is clearly ailing and you just don't know what to do. And this was before people were really talking a lot about the moisture barrier. So it actually even took me a long time to even figure out what was going on with my skin. And then I had to figure out how to treat it, right? So it was this long process of discovery and frustration 
but it's kind of a long, it's, it's a long story. There are other products that have definitely helped and, and made a difference, but I have to say, like I said, this is one of the core products that really helped me get through that situation. And finding, you know, out that like ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids really help to strengthen your moisture barrier. Finding it in this product, you know, using this product and getting so much benefit from it. Yeah, I have an emotional attachment to it. But even though I, you know, healed my moisture barrier, like, gosh, this is like four, four years now ago that was. I honestly still use this product because it's just such a darn good moisturizer and um, it really still suits my skin to this day. So we have three different types of ceramides. We have cholesterol, we have fatty acids, we have phytosphingosine, we have glycerin, we have sodium hyaluronate, we have petrolatum. I mean, these are all different ingredients that you've seen common throughout the CeraVe line. And these are all ingredients that help to, you know, support your moisture barrier, bring in hydration, bring in, in moisture and bring in occlusivity. And I think that's really reflected in the texture here because I really feel like a lot of CeraVe products are about balance and that's what this moisturizer provides because it is a cream texture. I do classify this as medium weight on the skin. It's a cream texture that's not overly rich. It's not a buttery oily type of moisturizer. It definitely does nourish the skin. It brings some hydration and nourishes your skin with moisture, but it just doesn't feel greasy or really rich on the skin. And I think that's why it really does maintain that medium like feel. But what's really special about this and a little bit different is it actually seems to like, it, it almost like goes neutral on your face. Like it has a neutral finish to it. So once it absorbs in the skin, which has got great absorbency, it does all that moisturization and nourishment inside of your skin. And at the top, there's like an almost neutral to matte type of finish. It's really nice. It neutralizes any shininess that I have. And I like to layer some oil underneath uh, my moisturizer. So it even like neutralizes the shine from oil. It's, it's kind of a surprising, but a, a nice a look that it has to it when you put it on your face. It feels so good. And the little bit of petrolatum in here, obviously not as much as we have in the healing ointment, but the little bit really helps to create a little bit of that barrier to help prevent the hydration loss from the skin. So I really like this. I have used this in the dead of summer when it's super hot and humid and it feels comfy. Again, combination skin, leaning a little bit dry. That's just my personal experience, but it feels comfy for me in hot weather. It feels great for me in dry, cold weather too. It's just something that has always performed for me. It's helped me heal damaged skin. It helps me keep my healthy skin in balance. It works in all seasons. It is not the most affordable moisturizer, gotta be honest, not the most affordable one at the drugstore, but generally speaking, it's on the affordable side. It comes in a big quantity. It's easily accessible. I mean, what is not to love? definitely my number one pick. So I'm curious, what are your top products from CeraVe? Let me know in the comments. Now, if you love this video, if it was helpful for you, but you have not hit subscribe, please, before you take off, I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my channel, especially if you love this video, because I do a lot of videos throughout the week all about skincare and I do shorts as well. So consider turning on notifications so you're never out of the loop when the new content drops. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. I'm so glad you were with me today, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I love you so much. Bye.